So thank you for having me here again. Um, I was here back in September and I did a talk on web scraping utilizing Python because that was like the topic I was really into at the time. I later progressed to APIs, so your talk was really great. I'm currently working with APIs and I understand the victory of just, you know, getting it to work because it's taken me like personally some several hours to get that happening. But um, today I just uh, wanted to talk about um, my experience, especially because I started out on a very different career track. Um, I started um, pursuing uh, accounting about four years ago when I went to the Kelly School of Business. And right now I'm here um, about to pursue my master's in data science. So I'm gonna just talk about that uh, kind of major transition. So when you think about diversity and what this uh, meetup is all about, to me, what really speaks to me is everyone's um, experiences that they have to, uh, that they get to bring to the table and everyone's walk of life that gets them to where they are today, whether you're just starting your career in technology or trying to uh, progress to uh, higher positions. So what, even though this uh, talk is about my personal experience, there are three key um, guidelines that I followed that could be applicable to anyone's uh, career path in technology. The first one is uh, knowing yourself. The second, uh, identifying allies. And then the third, probably most importantly, having a tentative uh, end goal in mind. So if, so let's start about back four years ago when I was pursuing accounting at the Kelly School of Business. I had no idea uh, what I wanted to do with my life as I was starting school. I had all of this ambition and motivation, but like no direction. Uh, my family just recommended I do uh, accounting because everybody was doing that and I had no better alternative, so I just decided to go with it. It was about halfway through um, my uh, studies at the business school that I really learned that accounting wasn't really where I was supposed to be. Even though I was doing fine academically, I just was never intrigued or excited by the work itself. And I was getting offers from like the MBA programs for the CPA track, so I was getting pretty serious about the accounting field. And it just dawned on me that maybe I can explore, uh, you know, other career paths. Because I thought that I had to figure everything out from day one, I never really took that opportunity to really uh, know myself and know my interests. So I was leaving, I think, my junior year with an accounting internship, and I was pretty dead set on I don't want to be an accountant for the rest of my life, but I wanted to give this internship a final go to see if this was really the right path for me. And now, even though I didn't find the accounting work very intriguing, I discovered that I could make my accounting projects very technical as possible. I started by writing simple uh, VBA macros, something pretty simple. To me, it was really cool, even though it just didn't really do a whole lot. You know, it was just cool that I could code something and make it work and make the accountants at my company uh, deal with entry data like a little bit easier. And so I decided to incorporate technology in all of my uh, accounting projects. And that's when it dawned on me that I really wanted to go from accounting to computer science. Now, I was already neck deep in the business school and transitioning from the uh, accounting field to computer science would mean the, another three years of an undergrad and I didn't have the money or resources or the patience really to do that. So what I did was I spoke to my advisors and I switched to the most uh, technical major in the business school, information systems, and I picked up a computer science minor to really fill in those, uh, to really uh, hone in on my technical acumen. And so even though it just sounds like, oh, a computer science minor, that's not a big deal, it required, I probably worked way harder on that minor than anything in my major by far. And even though it was just a minor, I was in the business, uh, I was in the School of Informatics, which was uh, very heavily uh, male dominated. I was always one of the very few female uh, students 
in my classroom. And if you're in a space and you don't see anyone that you can really relate to right off the bat, it can be initially uh, intimidating at first, whatever your background uh, may be. So to really get myself acclimated to this new environment, I identified allies or found mentors to really help me progress from the business school to computer science. And what that looked like for me personally was I would visit my professor's office hours, I would get to know my peers one-on-one -on -one and really build those friendships so I could have that uh, great supporting network. And I also utilized the advisors of my university. Uh, these connections have gotten me opportunities to leadership conferences and as an undergraduate instructor within the School of Informatics. So even though it was ultimately intimidating at first, building um, that strong network around you and just reaching out to people, even if it was like a cold call on LinkedIn, it really helped uh, shape my uh, perception of the computer science field. And because of that networking and identifying the people I could trust, it really gave me that support network I needed to really progress into the computer science field. And fortunately that summer I was able to land an internship in software engineering because of the valuable connections and the support network um, that I gained. Now, I was, tr I was trying to head, on, uh, head down the developer path, but during my internship um, doing software engineering, I was working a lot with data, and it wasn't really the application development that uh, fascinated me. It was more so working with the data, getting it ready, and being able to use and interpret that data uh, for the company's uses, because at the time I was building an application that took all this internal data and, it cre and created uh, performance metrics based on that aggregated data. So that's when I started to really question what I wanted my career to look like within uh, the technology space. And upon um, really talking to the advisors and professors I built close relationships with, they pointed out that maybe data science would be the better uh, track to go down. And all this happened prob like last February, to be honest. Um, the application deadline was far past. Um, but because of the network that I had and because of being able to identify what I wanted to do and really know why I was able to make that transition successfully. And what that really taught me is that you really don't have to have everything figured out uh, from day one. It's great to have a goal in mind, something to really work towards, but it's also really important to kind of be in tune with your interests and how they're changing and shaping uh, your career. So I like to think of it as have a goal in mind, but always be willing to adapt it and change it as your interests and as your skill sets evolve as well. So, so by really knowing yourself, building that strong support network, and having the confidence to take that leap of faith and really craft your uh, career path in technology, you'll be able to go from possibly accounting to data science or any other type of uh, career change that you want to make happen. It's all, about, uh, it's all about you knowing your interests. It's about building that strong support network, but most importantly, just taking that leap of faith and seeing where that goes. Thank you. Does anybody have questions for Evelyn? Yeah, question right here. That's actually a very inspiring story. Thank you for sharing that. that it really, it's captivating, absolutely. And um, you mentioned the deadline had passed. Uh, yeah. So that, are you saying you applied after? after? Can you not hear me? Well, no, it's just for the recording. There's people on live stream. Oh, did not know that. Yeah, you've, cool. got, you've, got, you've, got, you've got the whole internet out there watching. Whoa. Okay. So originally, after I made the switch from accounting to information systems, I got really pumped and decided to apply, to apply for the master's program for information systems and wasn't really thinking. And then uh, last winter, it really dawned on me I didn't want to 
do it, do that uh, career path. And so I just emailed one of the professors I worked with, like, hey, like, what do I do to like apply for this? And he's like, the deadline's passed, but um, I can set you a meeting up with like the, the director of the program. So I was able to get in my application like that. So it never hurts to ask. Never hurts to ask, yeah. Anybody else got questions for Evelyn? Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Appreciate that.